morning everybody, it's Dave Drakes with The Collective Experience and we are back for another round of Supercross. We're here in Atlanta for round one of the ATL series um, and I'm feeling pretty good. This is super, super exciting. Um, I'm really looking forward to being back at the races. We had a little bit of a break, but we're back now. This feels, this feels fantastic. Today I'm going to be helping out Dave Pulley doing my whole mechanic impersonation once again. Uh, should be a really fun time. Love helping out the privateers and riders whenever I can. And, uh, and you know, getting them what they need, getting them set up, it, it's it's super fun for me. Don't forget guys, we also have our uh, TCE MX internship program, which is gonna drop very, very soon. A lot of cool things going on with that. I'm gonna link that below so you guys can get yourself signed up, get the applications in, so that you can help out a pro team and really kickstart your career in the sport. So this is the biggest super cross track of all time? <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's uh. Kind of like Daytona, but just way more super crossy. I mean, look at this berm. You never, we've never had berms that big and super cross. What are you thinking, Rod Bell? Looking good? Yeah, it looks pretty fun, honestly. Huh. Better than Indy. I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> it's than Indy. Yeah. I'll, Probably won't be a soft. I'll give you that. Yeah, Spencer, that you agree? Dude, this traction, are we? Yeah. They, they did not hold back on the doubles and everything. Like th that finish line section, the double, double, it's double. Crazy. It's crazy. It's It's commit or nothing. So I give these guys props. Hey, 100 bucks if you do a backflip. <laughs> I'm not doing a <laughs> We ain't there yet. We ain't there yet. Next year. Everything is massive. The dirt is awesome, though. What's like, that? The dirt and then, like, just how big the jumps are. Kind of reminds me of like Malcolm's truck. Before. Yeah. Henry Miller. How we doing? It's gnarly rut. Uh, whoops, huh? Not so much. They're just kind of close together. Okay, to mere mortals, they're kind of nuts. But That's you know, what he was <laughs> right? To for us, they're these things are they're they're pretty they're pretty gnarly. They're pretty. Also, round, look though. looking they're nice in the big. FXR setup, man. Looking yeah. good. And it's uh, rainproof, so I'll they're treating you right. Dry. Treating you right, man. I like it. Somebody's huh? got him. <laughs> Yeah. I think these would make Reed happy. <laughs> Reed would love these. So when we're talking going table over and landing on stuff like this right here, what's the what's the setup for making sure you don't case or, or overshoot or anything? Just make sure you got enough speed to get over the backside. <laughs> I mean, uh, you don't really want to clip it. You'd be okay clipping the rear a little bit, but. You definitely want to make sure you get that front end cleanly over. Yeah, because that's this is more peaky than most of what you see people landing on for, you know, table over, you know, two and yeah, kind of com coming into a corner. Like right now, but uh, once pre so the sessions get going, it's gonna wear in a little bit and we'll yeah. start rounding out. But, well, that's uh, also because this is like a knife, dude. This is this is pretty peaky. Yeah. If it doesn't work yeah. out. We can we can always hop on one of these things, right? Some, some flips, blitz, blitz the whoops, and you know, have a good time, dude. Why not? The one and only the collective experience, MX up? culture. <laughs> What's up, dude? How you doing? You're doing good, brother. We made it, we made, made it, it. made it. Facility, track. <laughs> so, this is the most unique track we've had so far. Oh, by far. I yeah. mean, this is even more unique than Daytona. It's uh, it's longer. You got a bridge. You got massive sand. Yeah. This is cool. You're yes. on the. You can see the grass. The pit lane is yeah. right there. That's where the guys would normally pit for NASCAR. So, it's super cool. Yeah. All right. So, I'm sponsored by Scott, but I forgot all my goggles. And these are A race goggles from the main event in Arlington Three. And they still just have three or four tear offs left from that main event. So, whatever.
some really cool music through all our vlogs and uh, all of our products moving forward. And that's a big thank you to Cream Collective. Uh, those guys are out in the UK making a big push to come to the, uh, to the States. And they provide some of the sickest music around. I'm telling you guys, I guarantee you haven't heard stuff like this. Check those guys out, it's linked below. Follow them on Instagram. A lot of cool stuff going on with those guys and we're really grateful to have them on board. Yes. Jeremy Smith. What's up? We happy? We a little uh, bummed? How are we feeling not, today? Not too happy, honestly. I, I kept overshooting jumps, messing up, and I didn't even blitz the whoops when I was like seven or something. So I'll take it. I, I just tried to go as fast as I could before I went blind, but once the rain came down, I couldn't see it all. It was yeah. dangerous. Yeah. So, so. Are the tracks, or the jumps rather, are they as massive as they look when yeah, we're walking track? They're, they're pretty big, and there's ruts going up them, you can't see, so like, yeah. everyone's different lengths, so it's, it's pretty tough because you just gotta memorize it, but like, God. we didn't get any free practice, yeah. so you just gotta send it. Yeah, so. exactly. Uh, it's gnarly out there. You think we should have more tracks like this, or how, how would you change it up? I think it'd be cool, yeah. Yeah? I'd like more tracks like this, yeah. but, but the rain sucks, so yeah. we got two more rounds, so. We got it. Yeah. We got one. Dude, that's gnarly. Look at that thing. Totally. Walk us through what happened, dude. I, you know, out there trying to cheer you on, then I saw, saw the uh, like you getting carted off. Cut it off. Basically, normally I jump all the doubles on the first lap. The doubles were kind of weird, so I was kind of waiting and got to like the double before the rollers coming back towards the start straight and I was like, someone next to me was hitting so I was like, alright, I'll just hit it. And kind of mistimed it, came up super short and endowed over the bars, so it wasn't fun. Yeah. Uh, in a bit of pain right now, uh, they wrapped up my wrist for me. Rain starting to come down right now, so it kind of sucks. I'm hoping the track's not muddy this next session because I legit didn't even put a single lap in. So I'm gonna have to go out, learn the track, jump everything, and go fast in this 10 minute session to get on top for it. So we'll figure it out. Oh yeah. yeah. Gonna... Tough guy right here though. Okay, so we just got word that they are canceling practice number two. Kind of a bummer, but also, you know, we get the day sped up a little bit. Um, definitely a rare occurrence. It happened a couple years ago. I believe it was 2016 Vegas that this happened, so a little bit of a little, little bit of a shakeup. Um, and also, as you guys, I'm sure saw uh, Dave Pulley had a little bit of a uh, of a get off on the bike, overshot a double, and took a lot to the chest. Um, we ran him over to the Asterix setup, or sorry, Alpine Star now setup, and got him uh, got him squared away. And uh, the bike's looking good. He's gonna get a turtle shot, and then I think we should be okay. He's in pain, a little sore, but these guys are the tough as nails, right? So of course he's gonna you know they're gonna tough it out. Um, also guys, uh, leave, leave me a comment. I want to know what you guys think of uh, Mudder Supercross races because it looks like we're gonna have one So uh, I personally don't like them. I want to know what you guys think of them. Leave me a comment below Okay, so AJ wanted me to uh, film I'm doing something so as some of you may know, or may not, <laughs> Dave Drakes is my dearest friend in the pits. And like any dear friend would do, I got your oh. gift. Okay, so, this is nice. Follow me. Okay, this is nice. Kind of rare, this is nice. Now this is from Tony Cat. And so who, who is Tony Cat and, and Tony why? Tony Cat is my dad. Okay. Also, we have a little bit of a collection and he would never give any of this to anybody. But when I text him, he said, oh, for Dave Drakes? Anything for Dave Drakes. Word for word, that's what he said. Look at that. From the 120, uh, actually not even, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is Super Mini jersey. Signed. Signed, of course. By the legend. So what we would do is when I was an amateur, Anytime we thought somebody was going to be somebody big, we would get their jersey as young as possible. So I have Tomac on a 65. Look at Also going to give you this. We got a Lessie on a 65. Oh, holy crap. So I got a bunch of like really, really cool ones from when people were super, super young. And I'm going to give them to you, Dave Drake's you know? What a What a good guy. What a good guy. So, if, for those of you guys it's, that... It's actually mostly just because I'm trying to grow my black fan base. <laughs> <laughs> so, for most of you guys that don't know, I'm the world's biggest James Stewart fan, so this is something I've been wanting for a long time. 
and uh, Tony Cat and uh, of course AJ came through. Can so I I'm wear feeling. It? What's that? Can I wear it in the heat race? Never. <laughs> that has never seen the light of day after this. It fits me. It's huge. I didn't know James Stewart was so big. It's a big kid in the 85. Like somebody I know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, AJ Cantaro. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. All right. Jerry Robin. What up? What's up, dude? Oh, not much. Just you? here at beautiful Atlanta. <laughs> You amped uh, to get out here and start uh, laying down yeah. some laps? Yeah, I mean, we only got like five laps of practice because um, of the rain, obviously, so it's, it's going to be greasy. But yeah. it'll be fun. So yeah. the that's only, what we're here for. The one thing I'm really bummed at you for is you have to get these bikes dirty, dude. Yeah, like, I know. They look good. That's, huh? They look good, man. Yeah, they, they look, look so good. cool. So it is a bummer. It is. It is. But, I mean, you're going to kick it. So. It'll yeah. be good. Yeah. So is this the uh, gnarliest Supercross track ever? Or um, what do you think? It's just big, like they brought in a lot of dirt and they kind of overbuilt some stuff, but uh, the track's fun. Yes. Uh, it's just stuff is steep and big, so yes. I don't know. Well, it'll, it'll make for hopefully some good racing. Yeah. trying to pick out someone uh, who's worthy of a jersey. So, yeah. We got a lot of people who like entered that thing. Yeah. They, oh, people yeah. want an A-Ray jersey. Yeah. Indy one, Daytona. I don't really like Daytona. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's some criteria to it too, huh? Dude, Making sure everyone so follows the, yeah. Yeah. So what's your favorite part about doing giveaways? Uh, pretty much just, I don't know, like maybe the reaction of the yeah. fan. I mean, honestly, it's it's crazy because I come from a small town. Like, I looked up to, like, racers as well whenever I was growing up. And it's cool to yeah. see, like, people who want, you know, I mean, I don't know. I just think it's cool. Yeah. I love to see it. I love to see it. Hey, we're doing a jersey giveaway. Oh, Who should we pick? How do I win that? Well, I mean, you would had a comment on my three friends. Oh, well, who is this? That's... Okay, so I brought my Xbox, but I forgot my cords. <laughs> so that's that's he brought that's that's cord. key. That's I, key. I flew all the way out here from California. Just to bring it. That's key. <laughs> that's clutch. Thanks, dude. Um, let's see. We we got to make sure they follow all of us too. Exactly. Um, like people are picking Daytona. What the? Heck? All right, here's the guy. Got him. Found him. Andrew Lewis. Mm. This guy right here. Andrew Lewis. He's the winner, right there. You win an A-Ray 83 O'Neal Enjoy the Ride jersey. Awesome. So we're, we're gonna get him hooked up. We're gonna get the uh, the the jersey set up and sent out. Uh, yeah, he's gonna get Bro, a kick when you- Check out my guy, he rides? He rides? Yeah. There we Look, go. Here's a, here's a pick of him at Red Bud, dude. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a jersey swap. Maybe, hey, why not? Hey, I'm into it. Let's hit him up, dude. <laughs> we'll Look, get it. I mean, he's got, Pretty kid, hot wife, <laughs> dude, I'm into it. Run it. Andrew Lewis. Congrats, okay. Andrew Lewis. Basement, basement <laughs> guy. I mean, he's, he's, got, he's got the chick, he's got the kid, he's got the wife, he's got the bike. He's dialed. Dialed, now he's got a jersey. Dialed. <laughs>
we've got some sunshine and we also got Josh Greco. We're both feeling good. We're getting ready for the uh, opening ceremonies just happened, so we're getting ready to heat one. Uh, who are you calling for 450 uh, win tonight? The track's different, dude, so don't say the... It's muddy, Barsha. Barsha? Mud. But it's a super long one-off. It, it, it's gonna be Barsha or Cooper. It's mud. Okay. If it was normal, yeah. I would say Tomac. Okay. For this track. Okay. Uh, track's weird. I think there's gonna be a lot of wrecks. I think so too. I want to say Roxon, as everyone knows, I'm a huge Roxon fan, but he's gonna ride safe. These guys are—they're gnarly out here, man. This track is so crazy. Like this, there's a berm that's literally 20 feet freaking high. Oh yeah, and it's gonna be the the last corner before before the finish line in the LCQ. Yeah. It'll be great. <laughs> it's gonna be intense. Um, yeah, we'll see how it shakes out. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> so that's a wrap on Atlanta one. Freaking phenomenal main event. Holy crap. Both both uh, classes, 250 and 450. Freaking phenomenal. That is like one of the coolest races I think I've seen in a in a in a long time, man. Holy battles. Sexton, Tomac, AP going down, just ridiculous. So uh, we've got a lot of cool things that we have planned up in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you guys continue to keep watching and subscribing. Thank you for all the support that we, that we received. Again, congratulations to our Jersey winner. We have some really cool things in the pipeline, guys. Make sure you subscribe, tell your friends, share, and uh, yeah, make sure you, uh, you, you keep following along because you won't want to miss it.